Okay, I want to begin here uh, and spend a little bit of time on this because The Daily Show did a segment on DEI this week. Um, the host was Charlemagne the God uh, because it, I, I, I don't know if he's, it seems like The Daily Show has 340 hosts now. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, also, as a side note, I don't, I, don't, I don't know how this guy gets away with calling himself the God and we all just go along with it. And that's even when there's articles written about him, that, that name is, it's like used like that's his proper Christian name. Um, now, I'm generally opposed to people giving themselves nicknames at all. I don't think that's the way nicknames should work. But you can't deify yourself with your nickname. Or at least you shouldn't be able to. So anyway, Charlemagne, we'll just stick with the first part of the name, was, uh, was hosting. And he was uh, talking about DEI um, and criticizing it. So he's criticizing DEI. And of course, as you would expect, because a guy on the left was criticizing something that people on the right also don't like, many conservatives applauded this segment, uh, shared the, the clips, celebrated Charlemagne for speaking out. Um, you've, you've maybe seen this clip being, being shared around and, and uh, you've seen it on social media. And if you have seen it, it's probably because a conservative was retweeting it or, or reposting it and, and uh, uh, you know, with an amen and, and smiley emojis and everything else. Um, because supposedly we agree with the point that he's making. Now, Charlemagne d- does say that DEI is, quote, mostly garbage. And, and that's the quote that conservatives are repeating and applauding. But here is where I must once again remind my conservative friends that just because somebody on the left says one single sentence, not even a whole sentence, because the rest of the sentence, you know, the full sentence is uh, DEI is well-intentioned, but mostly garbage. The first part of that sentence is completely wrong. We'll get to that in a moment. It's not well-intentioned. So he didn't, even, he didn't even say a full sentence we agree with. He said wh- one part of a sentence taken in isolation we agree with. But just because that happens, just because there is a sentence or a phrase that somebody on the left says that we think we agree with, that doesn't mean we should automatically applaud them and celebrate them. In fact, um, it it doesn't even mean that we actually agree with the argument they're making. Just because there's one sentence in the argument that you agree with, it doesn't mean that you actually agree with the whole argument that he's actually making. Because somebody can say one sentence that you agree with in isolation, even in the context of an argument that you very much disagree with. But you have to actually listen to the whole context and, and then use your head also which is something that conservatives maybe should start doing more often. So let's do that. Let's listen to uh, some of this segment um, where, yeah, the guy hosting The Daily Show, a liberal guy, is criticizing DEI. But why? Why is he criticizing it? What is his criticism of it exactly? Let's find out. The truth about DEI is that although it's well-intentioned, it's mostly garbage. Okay, it's kind of like the Black Little Mermaid. Just because racists hate it doesn't mean it's good. (laughs) And you know I'm right because every one of you has sat through one of those diversity training sessions and thought, this is a bull. (laughs) And it's not just you. Over 900 studies have shown that DEI programs don't make the workplace better for minorities. In fact, it can actually make things worse because of the backlash effect. The biggest failure of DEI is that the number of black people in power at big companies is basically the same as it was five years ago. In fact, maybe the only thing that DEI has accomplished is giving racist white people cover to be openly racist. And honestly, uh, I'm not surprised these programs didn't work. And here's why. It's just corporate PR. They want good vibes. And also, they want to cover their ass, okay? (laughs) Did you know that if a company gets sued for civil rights violations, just having a DEI program will be counted as evidence in their favor, even if the program doesn't do Okay, it's the I have a black friend of the legal system. (laughs) We don't need corporate DEI. Yes, we want diversity and equity and inclusion. Real DEI is only going to come from black leadership. I don't know how to do it because I'm not a black leader, but I do know how to tell if it's working. Just keep an eye on right wing media. The more they're freaking out, the more progress we're making. Okay, so let's review. Um, Putting aside the fact that this guy's comedic rhythm is totally off, uh, so he needs to work on that. Let's review the argument that Charlemagne is making. 
while the right claps like trained sea, seals at SeaWorld. Um, what is he actually saying? Well you've, well, you've got a bunch of conservatives posting this clip and saying, oh, he makes some, he makes some great points. I, I, what, what, listen, listen to him. Well, he'll be voting for Donald Trump in no time. Okay, first of all, he says repeatedly that the right-wing critics of DEI are racist. And this is even more clear in the five-minute full segment. Uh, the, the whole segment's five minutes. Obviously, we're not going to play five-minute segment. But he makes it very clear. In fact, he plays clips of conservative media figures uh, talking about the problems with DEI, and he labels them all racist. Okay, So he, he specifically and repeatedly says that the reason conservatives criticize DEI is that they're all racist. And yet many conservatives, despite being called racist by this guy in that segment, still are sharing the segment and applauding it. So he's saying, you guys are a bunch of racist honkies. And they go, oh, wow, man, uh, this, 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 this liberal fella, you know, he's got a point. He makes a great point about how I'm a racist. It's, I mean, it's pathetic. You know, $20 barely gets you anything these days. You can't get a burger and fries for less than that. But do you know what $20 will get you? From the cell phone company I use, Pure Talk, you can get unlimited talk, text, and plenty of 5G data for just 20 bucks a month. Pure Talk gives you the same quality of service as your current cell phone provider, but for half the cost. The average family saves almost $1,000 a year, all with no contracts, no activation fees. You can switch to Pure Talk and keep the phone and phone number you currently use. Yeah, or you can take advantage of their great deals on the latest iPhones and Androids. Making the switch is incredibly easy. Their U.S. customer service team can help you join Pure Talk in as little as 10 minutes. Choose to spend your hard-earned money with a wireless company that shares your values, supports our military and veterans, creates American jobs, and refuses to advertise on fake news networks. Stop spending ridiculous amounts on your phone plan. Go to puretalk.com slash Walsh right now. My listeners can get an additional 50% off their first month. That's puretalk.com slash Walsh. And what is the actual criticism of DEI that he's making? Is he criticizing the idea? Is he criticizing the concept? Is he criticizing the goal of the idea? No, not at all. In fact, he says that it's well-intentioned. He says we need DEI. He's, he, he, he thinks we need it. His exact words. We need DEI. We need real DEI. Okay? So that's, this is what he's doing. It's like the communism thing. Like, well, 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 real DEI has never been tried. That's his whole, that is his whole argument, is, is that, yeah, it's not working, but we, have, we need real. This is fake DEI. We need the real stuff. That's what he's saying. Okay? His only problem with corporate DEI is that it has not effectively achieved the goal in his mind of enforcing diversity and inclusion. He's not saying that we shouldn't try to enforce diversity and inclusion. He's saying we need to do it more effectively and that this is not doing that. This is not accomplishing that. He uses an example of a, of a, a corporation you know, DEI that, where all the leaders are still white men or white people. So that's his point. That, well, yeah, they have DEI, but these companies are still mostly run by white people. Um, and so what's the solution? It's to have DEI in companies that are run by black people. It's to kick more of the white people out, replace them with black people, and then have DEI. That's what he's saying. That is the opposite of the point that we are making about DEI. He is making the opposite point of view. So if you're on the right and you have shared this clip, Okay, and, and because you think he agrees with you. No, he, he's making the opposite point. It's not even just slightly different from your point. It is the opposite of your point. And in so doing, he's even calling you a racist. So he, he's saying you're totally wrong on this issue and you're a racist. So he disagrees with you absolutely and fundamentally on this issue. There is nothing here for us to applaud. Uh, I, I mean... This is like it's like if somebody carjacks you, and then uh, and then and then his friend uh, yells at the guy for carjacking you um, because he says that that he you know he should have stole your wallet. Also, that's why he's mad. That yeah, well you carjacked guy, why you take his wallet? You, you kicked him out of the car and didn't take his wallet. What's wrong with you? And then it's like if you listen to that and say yeah, exactly. See, he gets it. He's defending me. No, you moron. You you you. Damned idiot. He's not the fit. He hates you more than the other guy. He wants to see something worse happen to you. So you so here, here's just to make this as kind of broad as uh, and clear as possible. 
Um, there's a bad thing that has happened. You, you want the bad thing to stop happening. He wants the bad thing to stop happening in order to be replaced by something worse. So that you're not on the same side. Okay, again, you're not even sort of on the same side. You, you, you could not be on more opposite sides of this particular issue. But that does require, I mean, it just requires an ability First of all, it requires taking a fight. If you're going to, I'm so tired of people doing that. And I don't want to hear the excuses for anybody that posts this clip. Well, so I didn't know. I didn't realize. It's five minutes long. I mean, just listen to it. Or don't, or you don't have to share it. You don't have to react. You don't have to, you could just say nothing about it. You don't, just because people are talking about a clip doesn't mean you have to say something about it. No one cares what your opinion is anyway. But if you feel like you have to say something, watch it first. And watch it with your, with just, and also listen. Don't just watch. Listen with your with your ears. Those are the things you're supposed to listen to things with. And it becomes very clear. So, and, and I know that we listen. I know we love the idea. We love the idea of the, um, you know, the reasonable liberal uh, guy, especially if the reasonable liberal is not white. We love that. We love that. We love the concept. We love the idea. We love the, um, you know, we love the story of the reasonable liberal, the reasonable uh, not white liberal in particular, who, um, you know, is, is, is coming to our defense and, and, and all. We, we love it. We, we love that. The only problem is that almost every time that is a fiction, okay? Almost every time, almost every time, almost all the reasonable liberals out there, uh, it is, we, that is a fiction. It's a story that we are telling ourselves. It's not true. And very often, what those reasonable liberals are doing is that they are, they are, they are, at best or at worst, they're trying. They're they're looking to repackage something. So they so the reasonable part of it, they're reasonable at all. It's they they at least realize that okay, this you know we've got this left wing agenda item, and uh, and they're saying to themselves, you know, our side is trying to push it through. It's not working. And so most of the time, the reasonable liberal, he's reasonable because he at least realizes that the thing isn't working, that it's not achieving the goal that they want to achieve. But he's not saying that we should get rid of it. He's saying, let's think of it. We got to, this is not a smart strategy. We got to think of a better way to do this. So those dummies over there don't realize, because those, those racist dummies over there, they, they're on to us. Those, those racist uh, you know, troglodytes over there, they know what we're doing. And so we need to figure out a better way to go about this. That's 99% of the reasonable liberals that we hear about all the time. That is what they're doing. That is their goal. They do not fundamentally disagree with the left on pretty much anything. If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can access my full show by going to dailywire.com or by going to the Matt Wall Show Twitter page. Hope to see you there. Godspeed.